I have tried uh, recording this video several times but I wanted to make a synthesized and short video on how to enable and configure a wheel to play specifically in this case WRC2 Extreme on the PCSX2 emulator. So you need three things. Firstly, first and foremost, you need the emulator. In this case, I'm using PCSX2 1.6.0. Uh, I believe you could use previous versions of the emulator, but I would suggest against using the dev build as I did not find a way to uh, select the wheel plugin. Secondly, you need the Kiemu USB driver, which enables wheel support for PCSX2, and you need to configure it as so. Firstly, define the device type as wheel device, D define the device API as the input, and finally, and this is specific for each game, in the case of WRC2 Extreme, it only, uh, from what I have seen, it only supports driving force wheels, so you need to select for the emulated wheel, driving force. After this, uh, you, will, you might notice that if nothing shows up if you try to steering left steering right using the throttle or braking this is due because you need the third um, and one of the more important steps as well you need logitech gaming software once installed it will probably recognize automatically your wheel and if it does and if it shows it as shown here i previously for example had a shifter and it used to appear here but now i do not use a shifter it's all good and you're set to go if however you try configuring again and it still does not identify i would suggest you uh, resetting restarting pcsx2 emulator and coming back to this uh, configure uh, pop-up box now there shouldn't be any issues or problems with you um, steering left on the wheel and by clicking reassign and PCSX2 recognizing the input that you are giving. Finally, one final note is and specifically for WRC2 Extreme, you might want to switch uh, the but L1 and L2 buttons and the same for R1 and R2 buttons because the game recognizes L2 and R2 buttons for uh, shifting down and up and for instance in my wheel the wheel has a specific uh, button for R2 and L2 while the sh padding f uh, shift pad for up and down are used as L1 and R1 buttons so I would sh suggest you uh, using uh, the shifting pads as L L L2 and R2 and you're set to go um, then it's all about experimenting and checking whether or not the game actually is functioning with the wheel as intended.